everybody! I'd like to take a second to welcome my new subscribers. Thank you for joining. I hope you'll enjoy my videos. Today, we're talking about chemical etching. Welcome to Design Education with Mia. Chemical etching is one of those techniques that are just mind-blowing. Using acid, we cut into thin sheets of metal, usually titanium, tungsten, and steel. But we can also use other metals like copper, nickel, and aluminium. It's a great technique uh, to produce complex shapes with high precision. It's a great technique because it doesn't add stress onto the material, unlike some other cutting techniques such as using a saw, and that can limit micro fissures and we can avoid any kind of breaking in the material. Basically the process is this. We use this thin protective layer that we put on top of the metal after having cleaned it, and then we put it in a chemical, basically acid as I said, and the acid will basically remove all the material that isn't covered with that protective layer. The great thing is that you can also just engrave things on materials so it doesn't have to cut all the way through. But when it doesn't, it leaves this like rugged matte surface finish on the, on the, on the engravings and most people just lean into that. If you cut all the way through the material, it'll be just a clean cut. This process can be used to produce small series is like one-of-a-kind products but it can also be used for large-scale manufacturing you can actually DIY it there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do it the level of precision is very high and the cost is quite low this process is so precise that it can be used to make electronic parts such as accutators or screens like this micro screens it can also be used for industrial labeling alright so let's finish up with the environmental impact of this technique so this process involves the use of chemical uh, agents, which is why all the manufacturers have put in place a safe way of disposing of these chemicals. The other thing is that because of the high level of precision, you don't really need to do any other steps. The product can just be finished after the etching, which means that there's a lot less energy wasted on other manufacturing techniques, other finishing processes, uh, and so you cut back on energy as well. But the only issue is that the residual metal cannot be recycled. Alright, so that was it for chemical etching. I hope you learned something new today. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button for more, and I'll see you later.